really hear me, bitch. Nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain. Mambo Jumbo, my lovely people, welcome back to the channel. Now, today we are going to be looking at friendship bonds family bonds and reunions right here on this video and to start us off i'd love to bring out a bond that i've seen that is inseparable among a group of male friends right here on youtube and guys i'm talking about mayugno mapopo nasto and maja ke i don't know if you feel like their bond is so solid and genuine but i personally love what i am seeing and what they are doing to uplift each other every single day and actually someone did call them the four amigos guys i don't know if you have been following but i love the vibe that i'm getting from this group of men these people have decided they are going to uplift each other no matter what and ensure that everyone is benefiting from this friendship as well so now i came on here and spoke about nasto and what he did to mayugno a few days ago and uh, he came back again wanting to meet mapopo because one of his followers sent him some money to go shop for mapopo and also visit his family so that we are able to actually understand and know where he's coming from so our interest has been on mayugno all the time and now finally we got a chance to meet mapopo and his family and where he lives and so on and so forth and guys he has a very very beautiful wife that is all i can say so nasto goes to mayugno and mayugno takes him to where mapopo stays because he didn't know where he lives to go deliver this wonderful news he had so now a subscriber of nesto had sent 20 dollars for shopping for mapopo so now he goes over and these four guys are in this house they are laughing they're having a wonderful time mapopo did have to you know give us a background of who he is how many kids he has um what conditions he's living in and he spoke of having challenges paying his rent for just a couple of months okay so now this 2000 was given to nasto for shopping specifically for shopping and guys i have to admit that i love how nasto thinks so this is what i mean nasto was told this 2000 shillings is for shopping but on reaching at mapopo's house he decided you know what i'm going to give 1000 to mapopo so that he can settle his rent arrears and then i will go with him for shopping with the remainder of the money which is ten dollars and that is what actually happened i was glad and happy to see that mapopo uh, was very appreciative and even when they went to the store to shop like in the supermarket he admitted that that was the first time in his whole entire life that he was getting into a supermarket to shop for his family guys it was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful to watch. Now guys, remember Mayugno and Mapopo have been friends and they've been working at the villa. And one thing that Mapopo said is that he always hangs around Mayugno because when he is around him, that is the only way he's able to feed. And um, right after they didn't have their job in the villa, we could see how they went hustling and sitting at a spot where you know employers come to look for people to go work for them in their own town all right so now mayugno has been hanging out with mapopo every single time and i was asking is this person living next to mayugno or what happens apparently mapopo comes from his house over to mayugno's so that he can have something to eat at the end of the day now he said when mayugno gets he also gets guys i love the friendship i love the bond that these four people have so now recently mapopo was bought for a brand new phone yes guys and he is going to be opening a youtube channel he's been working on his english and he's been learning from mayugno as well we have to admit that mayugno's english has really improved and that is why it's so enjoyable to watch him because we actually understand what he is talking about 
The same to Mapopo. Mapopo's English is slowly becoming better and I'm sure even with a YouTube channel, he'll be able to, you know, learn a lot of things and in just a short time, he'll be able to communicate fluently in English. So Nastro's subscriber yet again gave some amount of money for him to go purchase a phone for Mapopo so that he can start a YouTube channel. And uh, Mayugno did chip in as well, some amount. And uh, I do understand that Mapopo also had an amount that he also added so that he was able to buy this beautiful phone. And for the very first time, he touched a smartphone. He was so overjoyed. I'd love to see how he expresses himself because it's so genuine. It comes out so beautiful and it's so wonderful to watch. So now Mapopo has a YouTube channel. I don't know if um, I don't know if it's up yet, but uh, Mayugno and Nesto said they'll help him open and help him get subscribers so that he's able to you know earn from YouTube as well. So now this bond is beautiful. One person did note that Maja is very silent. And I said, you know what? I agree with this person because we we rarely get to see Maja come out just among these other guys. Most of the time I found Maja to be so silent, so withdrawn and so quiet. And one of their subscribers actually commented on that video and uh, said, we'd love to also know where Maja comes from, his story, so that we can also help if we need to help. And um, Maja comes across as a very silent, reserved, you know, just laid back personality. Most of the time he's withdrawn when these people are in the same crowd, just laughing, making light of everything and enjoying the moment. He will snap back in a few seconds, laugh at the moment and then reverse or revert back to being laid back and withdrawn. So Nesto, I do hope that one day we will also get to learn who Maja is because I think he's a beautiful soul. He's just silent, laid back. We'd love to know more about him. Just like one of the subscribers did point out. All right, so now away from the four amigos, let us go straight to the Philippines. Now, if you are not aware, <laughs> Dim Wango is back to Manila and again, Guess what guys, African Tigress just landed in the Philippines and is with Cherono. So though the first time she landed, she went over to Cherono's who cooked her, her favorite meal. Now I could go through the comment section and see people trying to figure out and ask and you know, curious if they're going to be meeting the three ladies at one spot anytime soon because they are all in the same place. Now we do know that Cherono and African Tigress share a mutual friend who is Jim Wango and now looking at how things have been happening we are actually waiting to see if these three personalities are going to meet. Someone did ask African Tigress now that you're in Manila and Jim Wango has come back to Manila we do hope to see you together at some video. And I could see African Tigress trying not to answer directly. Her answers were not giving the full information, uh, confirming or denying what she's been asked by this person. So anyway, guys, I don't know what will happen. I do hope they meet all of them. And someone did ask Cherono, now that Tigress is there, are we going to be getting more juice? on what's been happening between you guys and Dim Wango and Cherono as well was not giving a concrete answer she was just telling guys you know what keep it to my channel you'll be able to find out because it's going to be getting juicer so I don't know what that exactly meant but anyway I hope this friendship will be revived guys you people think that I'm always here talking bad about Dim Wango I don't hate Dim Wango she's done amazing work but we have to point out exactly also the negative things that we can see negative things that i can pick from just watching and just you know wanting to talk about what is going on and that is why we do these reactions so i really do hope these three ladies are going to be hooking up at some point and you know laugh together and just revive their friendship like it was before, okay? So now still in the mood of friendship and bonds now, most of the Nyabohanse YouTubers 
came together to bid farewell to Marwa, who is actually supposed to be leaving if he hasn't left by the time I'm posting this video. They came to say a big thank you and thank him for impacting their lives. You know, he did open YouTube channels for very many young people in his community and they all came together to give him a farewell at his villa. And you know what? Say thank you so much, boss. Thank you and go well and we will meet you when you come back. It was lovely to see. It was a bit emotional for some people, but positive things have happened in Yabohanse. That is a fact. So we cannot deny that. And these are some of the beautiful stories that Mara is going to be leaving behind even when he starts his travel across the world. I was glad to see that they were there to say thank you. They were there to say farewell. They were there to know, just come on together and give their thanks to their boss. Okay, so now let's talk about Congrats mom. Now she was at home during the weekend as always and she wanted to have a mini party where she can have, you know, a get together with the members of her family who are present at home at that time. So now we are talking of Congrats Pa, uh, David Jr. and Marwa. Now she spoke of uh, her husband Congrats Pa being sick. He's been unwell as well as, you know, Mara was unwell and David Jr. was also not feeling well. So we didn't get to see this on camera, but I really do hope that they met because this was after David Jr. had dropped that bombshell exposing Mara for how he's been treating him. He talked of Mara being a bully, a narcissist and also a fake person on camera and off camera. So now I was actually glad to hear Congrats Ma speak like that because, you know, there's been tension going on, especially also right here on YouTube. And I'm sure all of these things just take a toll on a family looking at it on a larger scale. So now I really do hope that they were able to settle whatever they had between them. And I hope that this meeting had everyone that I have said attend because it's very important also because uh, Mara is traveling outside the country so we are not really sure on when he will be coming back. So I really do hope things are going okay because also Congrats Mom has been on these streets and uh, People have been talking about her on how she is not putting or keeping her family members, especially her kids, in line and together. There's a lot of drift that has come recently between, you know, David Jr. and Dim Wango and Marwa. So I really do hope things will be unfolding okay. They don't have to show us on camera, but I really do hope they can settle whatever they have in closed doors so that you know family is family we cannot be divided for a very long time especially when we are talking about blood relation okay yep so i really wish the best for them it's really been a tough period for the maras if i may put it like that but it was actually a very beautiful thing to see congrats mom wanting to reunite her family in this tough period all right guys now all i can say is that congrats ma has really tried to bring everyone together so she went ahead again and prepared you know a final meal for mara before he leaves the country and guys on this video we can see people seated and having meals together now let's talk about mayugno uncle mo and mara all on the same table sharing a meal and a final meal before mara leaves the country so guys how is this not so beautiful like who would have ever thought that these people would share a table together i'm glad to see this happen we did not see david jr on that table we didn't see congrats pa on that table but i really do hope that this is a step forward to mending and you know repairing family bonds and that their family will all come together eventually and be one forgetting everything that has happened in the past guys if you like what you see please like this video comment down below tell me what you think about this last part of the video and i will read your comments and of course respond to them as always
If you are not subscribed and would love to subscribe, please always feel free to do so and I will catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.